the the inspiration is definitely from the 70s and um, kind of rockers um, but because he's like uh, also digital made inbox made I would say he's kind of sounding more like exterminator kind of roots you know we draw the ideas on logic using a MIDI keyboard um, and yeah, all the drumming parts, um, the keyboards, bass, and then uh, I did a, I, I did some live guitars to make it sounding warmer. And then, well, basically it's just media ideas, you know, media ideas, inbox ideas. And then um, I sent them to to the singers, and then um, I got the recordings back. I got all the vocal parts. Um, and there I went for the for all the instrumental uh, live replacement you know so we made them all live um, with a few different musicians for the key like for the keyboards for the keyboards we went to we went for we went for um, uh, smiling roots he was the one playing organs and the piano and then uh, you know we went for uh, Jonathan he came here and did all the percussions and then uh, King Stanley did the um, backing vocals here um, we had a big horn section playing um, in a studio in the Alps and uh, all the main vocal parts all the four main singers did their parts uh, Danny Reddy in Jamaica um, Rob Taylor was in France uh, Rankin Joe in the US Moriman in Birmingham in the UK so yeah you know some of the work's been recorded here but uh, I'd say it's like 50-50 something like that the song is in pure majesty was like one of my favorite requests ever I wanted to have that release so much because I really like the tune. Um, the link, the link, uh, the link was possible through Ranking Joe. Ranking Joe gave me the link for Rob Taylor. So I linked him up, and the thing was hilarious because, uh, yeah, first of all, you know, um, ask him if he wanted to release the tune. That specific is in Pure Majesty, and he was like, nah. Uh, not really, you know, he, he, he was not too sure. He, he said, I want to hear the reading first because, you know, it's hard to keep up to the level of that kind of songs. That is an anthem song, as is one of the greatest songs of uh, Rob Taylor. So the team was like, okay, it's a good challenge. You know, but as I said, I played a guitar on it to make it sound in a bit warmer. And uh, it was all me. When we sent him the rhythm, and he was like, yes, the rhythm is good enough, Let, let's go. So I was really happy, you know. He did his part like crazy, because if you check the vocal part, the man sound like back in the days, you know, exactly like back in the days, he did his job. It's like, you know, 100% perfect. I only had to put a little, like, compressor, some tiny little reverb, short delay, and that was it. His vocal part was perfect, done already. You know, we wanted to have a Roots album and uh, um, of course we wanted to have a solid DJ part. So we went for the originator. We did, you know, without any doubt, we went for Ranking Joe, the one and only, you know. Um, and it was a super pleasure because the man is so humble and so real and so clean. You know, my experience was like, super positive the man works fast it's like precise in you know what i'm saying it's like i don't have to tell him nothing at all you know he's a great artist really inspired and and the work was like uh the, the, the job was like i linked him up um, on uh, instagram linked him up and send him the rhythm send him the part i had done your red part and i wanted to have his DJ part. So he basically just listened to the tune and the next day he had his idea, went to the studio, just bam, 
you know, send me the recordings and yeah, once again the same thing. He had um, I had different lines with Ron King Joe because he's very uh, he's generous, you know. He's large and he gave me a few different lines I could it's like arrange and you know and um, work around his lines with Danny Red and Rob Taylor and the result was amazing. We could speak about it for, for you know a few hours. But to, to make it short, we always believe do the maximum you can with the less you have. Try do try to take as much as you can until you're happy without buying these or buying that or you don't even know what to, how to exploit your tool to the max. And so my experience begin through um, logic well before that was it before logic was reason or ebay's or whatever but it's always been inbox and you know we've got a sound system so we taste what we produce and i was i was i was happy enough you know so i'm i'm, I'm just i'm just keep keeping going the same way um, and then, you know, for this specific specific project, I wanted to I wanted to to do the mix in box, um, and then Paolo Baldini took care of all the mastering process. Yeah, and he did a great great work because, um, as you know, we released the, the the album on vinyl, so he he was the one. You know, he did the mastering for both digital release and vinyl release. He did a great job. Um, and yeah, he's all, you know, homemade. Yeah, he's a homemade. Nowadays, um, it's quite simple to, to build up a track, to build up a track just by using a PC, just by using a laptop with a, with a, with a very simple um, software, you know, but uh, yeah, it is. But to me, it's like the ideas and the music that is that 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 is in you, yeah. And the ideas that Ja, the inspiration he get from His Majesty, and you draw your ideas through a very simple machine, you know. And then it's not as simple as that because then you you gonna you gonna put some some flavor, you gonna add some flavor, you gonna do you gonna overdub some of the parts and there is where the to me is where the magic happens mm. because you know there's some 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 media ideas media ideas raw media ideas and then they get replaced by live proper musicians everybody you know what i'm saying every instrument is covered by a musician that actually knows how to play you know so the the the, the, the final result is as I said, um, is a bit more like organic. Um, it is a roots album with a strong Rasta message. You know, we wanted to have strong lyrics with, um, I mean, reality lyrics, but um, with a Rasta perspective. See, you got daily live lyrics speaking about violence in the streets, um, about violence. Uh, back in the days, you know, the persecution against Rastas. There are songs like content, pure contemplation for his imperial majesty, Haile Selassie the first, you know, and um, yeah, definitely, I believe he's a, he's a up to date. Yeah, up to date. Um, uh, reality, up to date reality music sung by a Rasta man, by different Rastas, you know. As I said, it's daily life and, you know, people can see what we see, but uh, probably the interpretation uh, might be different because people don't see things on a spiritual level. Sometimes you don't check situation on a spiritual level. You just say, oh, shit happens just because that's a coincidence or whatever. But, um, yeah, um, I think... Um, some of the some of the songs like for instance these um 
um, at a stoplight. It's 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 daily life, you know. Speaking about daily life, violence in the streets, murdering because of um, well, you know, all the all the all the badness going on. Um, and we just saying, we just saying, you need to, you need to stop that, you know, you need to stop that and do something else, do some positive stuff instead of, you know, keep dealing with the violence, with the guns, with all these bully murdering and rare, rare, rare. And uh, there are songs speaking about, it's like the reality back in the, the Rastaman reality back in the days when they were persecuted back in Jamaica. You know, these people now, as you said, the young people might be attracted or they might, they, they, they want to check, they, they, they come check us, you know, they, they come check us when we play song system dances live on stage, whatever, but you know, some, sometimes they don't know the history, you, you know, even the history of these musicians, of, of, of the musicians they see on stage, you know, all the elders, some of the elders left still, you know, they don't know about years and years ago all the as i said all the per so you know persecution and stuff we have a variety of songs um speaking about reality as i said under a rastaman point of view the message is in the music so you know go check it out check it you can check it on bandcamp you know we have um imperial army bandcamp page you can have the digital version you can have the vinyl release about four different 12s so you know as we put a lot of work into it and if you like what we did so far just go check it out and let me know what you think about it give thanks to all the musicians you know all the singers and players of instrument you know the tari end up shake down thanks for making it possible because without you none of this work would be possible so you know keep the Message of Roots Reggae Music Alive. As I said, the message is in the music. You know, so go check it out and let me know. Let me know what you think about it. Alright? Bless up.